Terrace Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Two days of competition finished up at the second Summer Youth Olympics in Nanjing, China. Earlier today, Paul D'Souza sailed two races in the men's one-person dinghy class. He finished 12th in the first race and 24th in the second. The final three races there will be sailed tomorrow. As for our men's tennis team of Rashid Carey and Justin Roberts, they were unable to get past the opening round of doubles, losing to the top-seeded Russians 6-1 and 3. Our youth Olympic swimmers had the day off. So far, they have fared relatively well, but according to coach Andy Lovett, they are being hampered by the fact that a physiotherapist was not sent as a part of the Bahamian delegation. We were able to catch up with Secretary General of the Bahamas Olympic Committee, Romel Fish Knowles, to get an explanation. The Bahamas contingent was only 14 athletes, and so the, each coach, each, each discipline, deserved to have an athlete. We had to send an Natasha and, of course, a chef to Mission. As a matter of fact, I'm, that's, you know, uh, athletics don't have a coach because we decided to use one of, the one of those positions to take a medical physician. There's no need in the Youth Olympic to carry any physician, as a matter of fact, because uh, uh, in their bid package, one of the things is the host country must provide all the medical supplies, all, I mean, all the medical supplies, all the medical doctors and everything. If you look at when we went to Singapore, we didn't send any medical person at all. But um, taking caution, we decided to send a doctor along with the team. Um, and so uh, we understand that people are not used to the atmosphere of the Youth Olympic Games. They think it's all about the competition. But the reality is that it's about for the athletes to have fun. And in the event there, there is an injury, I can assure you that the International Olympic Committee people are on the ground and they're quite capable of handling uh, any challenges that may arise. 2014 has been a big year so far for swimming in the Bahamas. We won our first Grifter Championship back in April. Ariana Vanderpool Wallace followed that up last month with the country's first swimming medal at the Commonwealth Games. And President of the Bahamas Swimming Federation, Algernon Cargo, believes even bigger and better things are on the horizon. We've proven that we not only can win a medal, but we have swimmers that are advancing beyond the heats. And this means that the Federation must be doing something right, and not only nominating swimmers to the Games who can actually compete at a high level, but we also have a program that's developing, a program where we have um, swimmers moving beyond the Carifta level now to the world stage, because Dustin and um, Joanna, who, who are who's still competing, um, they're still competing at the junior level, the Carifta Games, and Joanna has another year of Carifta eligibility left. And to be swimming now among the best in the world against professional athletes and represent the Bahamas at a very, very high level speaks volumes for our program. The International Cricket Council's America's Under-19 Division II Championship closed out over the weekend with Team Bahamas failing to pick up a single victory in the four-team double round robin tournament. This was a much different outcome from two years ago when the Bahamas won the tournament, but this year's squad was filled with a number of rookies under the age of 16, and Coach Greg Taylor says it was a learning experience. We were building the team, so I'm not disappointed at all. I just, I'm eager to see um, where they go from here. I have a lot of experience. I came up in the same program, so I try to just some of the things what I did and my coaches told me, I try to pass it on to them. I teach cricket in some of the schools and uh, I'm going to start a league as well um, this year between a few of the high schools, so that's how we intend to keep the guys going. The men's Government League basketball playoffs tip off tonight at the Donald Davis Gym and President Anthony Cobb's role says it's going to be a fight to the finish. This is um a uh, deep season, uh, all the games looking good, you know, uh, um, the Cybots, Bamboo Shark Cybots, they are undefeated, um, they sit in the number one seed, seed um, and my Grand Stoppers, we are the number two seed, um, and then the Belize Royals, number three. But any of these teams uh, could, could very well win this championship. You know, it, it really depends on who enters the playoff playing uh, the best basketball. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Night is back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.